Welcome to the Workplace Minute, powered by H3 HR Advisors and sponsored by Paychex, one of the leading providers of HR, payroll, retirement, and software solutions for businesses of all sizes. My name is Steve Bose. The surge in older workers is expected to lead to increased retirements. Over the next few years, the labor market is expected to be significantly impacted by baby boomer retirements, and some industries will feel the pain more than others. A record 4.1 million Americans are set to turn 65 this year and each year through 2027. Although not all of the boomers will leave the workforce, the surge of new 65-year-olds probably will mean record retirements as well. The increase in the number of retirees is expected to keep job openings elevated and force employers to raise wages to attract job candidates from a more slowly growing labor force. There were about 8.1 million job openings in May, according to the Labor Department, and that's down from a record 12.2 million in March of 2022, but still above the pre-pandemic average of about 7 million. Though job openings are likely to continue to decline, they'll probably stay above the pre-COVID level, according to most economists. That's especially the case in industries with large shares of workers who are 55 and older, such as manufacturing, healthcare, government, and education. Through the first five months of the year, there have been about 900,000 retirements in the U.S., a pace that could result in a record of 1.7 million to 2.1 million retirements for the entire year. These figures are based on Social Security Administration data on the number of people claiming benefits for the first time. And by comparison, retirements averaged 1 million to 1.3 million from 2010 through 2019, before increasing to about 1.6 million last year. Although COVID-19 pandemic prompted many workers to retire early, about 500,000 people delayed retirement as the pandemic reduced their income or savings, and there's much evidence suggesting retirement is becoming unattainable for some. Still, many people who put off retirement during the pandemic are making the move now, further stressing the supply of workers in affected areas. And meanwhile, the arrival of new entrants into the workforce, most of them recent high school or college graduates, isn't keeping pace with increased retirements. In May, there were 2.8 retirees for each new unemployed entrant to the workforce, and that's the most on record in a ratio that has steadily climbed in the past 15 years. The biggest reason? Generation Z, currently aged 12 to 27, is far smaller than the baby boomer cohort. Some of the industries expected to be most impacted by the increase in boomer retirements include wholesale trade, other services, which is a diverse sector, including equipment repair and maintenance, financial activities, things like investment banks, insurance companies, and real estate firms, public administration, so these are workers in government jobs who often stay in their position for a long time due to pensions and other benefits, and manufacturing following the heavy job losses inflicted by the offshoring of manufacturing to Asia, U.S. factories have made a comeback in recent years. As baby boomers retire and manufacturers expand capacity, the industry estimates it could need to find 3.8 million new employees by 2033. These and other industries, such as construction, are expected to face increased pressure to attract, develop, and retain the workers they need to keep up with demand and to offset the expected increase in boomer retirements. HR leaders in these highly impacted industries should take steps to proactively estimate and plan for worker retirements in the next several years and prepare strategies to offset these anticipated labor shortages. It will be an important trend to watch here in the U.S. and in other advanced economies. We will continue to cover the important topics and trends in the world of work here on the HR Happy Hour Media Network. That's it for the Workplace Minute, powered by H3 HR Advisors.